As we tell you about a developing story this morning, police making several arrests as they work to fight illegal street racing. Now we have talked about this issue for months. Police are cracking down on those drivers. Chris Adegui is live in Dallas on I-635 where that big group was taken into custody. Chris, officials say that is a big trouble spot. Yes, Mark, and these eight arrests happened just days after the creation of a statewide task force aimed at stopping these type of takeover incidents, and we've seen a few of them lately. In this case, there were eight people arrested on motorcycle here near 635 and Luna Road. Six of them charged with racing on a highway, one for obstructing a highway, and another arrested for spectating a race. Police said they received many complaints in recent months about people racing on the Tech Express lanes of 635, and the Dallas Police Street Racing Task Force began investigating with the help of Farmers Branch PD. And another similar story in Houston over the weekend where police there arrested three people after nearly 200 cars were involved in a takeover of a mall parking lot. This all follows a street takeover in Austin last weekend that went viral with video showing people in the streets doing donuts, blocking a police car and shooting off fireworks at police. Shortly after that incident, Governor Greg Abbott announced the statewide task force to stop street takeovers. That task force will try to include state officials working with law enforcement, local law enforcement, to make arrests in these incidents and also seize the vehicles and weapons that are being used. Mark and Garrett. Yeah, thank you for that update, Chris. As Tashara Parker joins us here at the desk. And, you know, Chris mentioned that this has been an ongoing problem, but it happens at night a lot of times. We might right. be in bed. The viral videos we've seen really just underscore how inherently dangerous this is. Yeah, absolutely. A dangerous position to put anyone in, police officers, even the folks that are out there watching some of these situations. I know that uh, the governor's call to action, that's fairly new, but this is something DPD has been looking into since 2018. Chris mentioned that Speed Race Task Force. In addition to that, in 2020, um, our city council here in Dallas pushed an ordinance basically saying if you're out there watching it, which we know can be dangerous too, you're going to get in trouble too. So don't be out there watching it. Obviously, don't participate in it as well. We've been working on a, a story in the traffic department, and I'll get that one in probably a two weeks or so because we had to do a bit of an investigation to bring that one alive. Well, that was something we talked about this morning during our meeting is that this is not a new problem. It just sort of feels like it because we hear about it yes. so much. Yes, with those viral videos, as Mark mentioned as well. Yep. Yep. Okay, thanks to Shara. You're welcome.